guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video today's video is a bit different now I'm doing this 10 day challenge of no carbs and no sugar now that it's not so difficult for a lot of people especially if you eat meat but if you're like me and you eat no form of a meat then it becomes a problem because most protein products that are for vegans do have a bit of a carbs and they have over five grams of carb most protein products so finding a low and no carb diet as a vegan person is extremely difficult now I've been doing a lot of researches and I found that doing a no carb diet for regardless of your eating habits is problematic now guess what I found out I found out that most vegetables do contain some form of a carbohydrate now take a look at my salad right here this is actually a, a mixed greens baby arugula spinach leaves um, romaine lettuce just a mixture of lettuce and I had to add some cucumbers I also have some um, cherry tomatoes and what else did I add to this um, cherry tomatoes and basically that's it as far as uh, you know vegetables are concerned now for my dressing I go with truffle oil a little bit of uh, olive oil and I also add a little touch a few drops of grapeseed oil in this I had some Italian seasoning and next I had some nuts yes I had a teaspoon of pumpkin seeds now pumpkin seeds do have carbohydrates mixed green vegetables do have carbohydrate tomato do have carbohydrate the only thing is that they are very 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 low in carbohydrates and some of these vegetables have less than one gram so my question is is there any such thing as a no carb diet it's very difficult to do a no carb diet unless you're going to eat just oils avocado of carbohydrates in it um, cucumber have carbohydrates it's just that it's little so I'm thinking what I am actually doing here is not a no carb diet but a, a very 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 low carb diet and let me taste my thing and see I actually love salad and I make my own salad dressing mm. very very tasty now I would suggest if you're trying to do one of these diet you try to do what I do I personally like to make my own salad dressing and what I do I invest in quality oils mm -hmm. quality oils and quality natural spices all right now when you use a lot of spices burst of flavor like a basil lavender leaves and all of this kind of yes lavender leaves give the salad up mm, 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 mm. and you can just research it for yourself and see so invest in a lot of good quality spices and oils okay and when you get those on you play around with them just like when you're doing facials right so you play around the oils like this is the very very first time I'm mixing truffle oil with grapeseed oil and a little bit of olive oil very very first time truffle oil is on the expensive side guys believe it or not so I don't want to just use just pure truffle oil on my salad because I can't afford to buy a little two ounce of truffle oil for like $15 or so every week. So what I do, I mix the truffle oil with some good old olive oil and then I dip a little grapeseed oil in that dressing to make it seems as if it is all so gourmet. You know what I mean? Now, 
So far, so good. Italian spices. There are a wide variety of Italian spices out there on the market that you could actually get and just play around, search for the ingredient. And I like the, the uh, a blend with the lavender. I recently discovered that and I've been really loving it in my salad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh. Guess what I forget to mention, guys. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I forgot to mention that I did put a little bit of pepper in this thing. <laughs> I actually had a little bit of a cayenne pepper to my salad dressing. And the reason why I use a little bit of a cayenne pepper to the dressing is because somebody is looking to speed the metabolism up. If you use a lot of pepper that you can tolerate, that is, in your salad, it's going to further speed the metabolism up. So I tried to put a little. So what happened just now was... <laughs> yeah the little pepper was stinging a little but i guess i just pick up a spot where you know the pepper was now guys guess what this dressing that i made and if you want the recipe that's what i'm gonna start doing i'm gonna start to write out my homemade salad dressing okay because i come up with some really awesome ideas now the only thing is and don't blame me for it as i said i invest in quality oils and i also use really good spices so i'm just gonna tell you you know to play around if i make a recipe now don't come at me because i'm using truffle oil and this is expensive you could actually invest in you could you go out sometime and you waste 15 dollars right now two drops burst the flavor and all you need sometime is just the flavor now take a look at what i have here and i noticed that the cucumbers are really tasty in the salad meaning that if you're home and you want something to snack on? Make enough of this dressing and just use it on the cucumbers and just snack on it because it's really, really tasty. Not only that, you're getting a lot of water from the cucumbers, so it's going to hydrate you and it's also going to leave your skin glowing. Okay, so. Mm. Ah. Mm. Water, 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 water. No, guys, honestly, I really, really love this salad. So if you want the dressing, the recipe for the dressing, just hit me up at chichibuti at gmail.com or if you think I should list, put the recipe, no, I'm going to keep my recipe a secret. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but if you want it special, you know, I'll write it out so I could just forward it to you. So you have to do an extra step if you want this dressing, all right? Because... This is good and I'm onto something. I just taste a piece of a licorice taste, almost like a piece of a fennel. Mm. That's from the blend of spices that I use. It's really, really good. Mm. One thing I forget to mention. Mm -hmm. The reason why you're seeing this so colorful is the tomatoes that I use, the cherry tomatoes, are those mixed tomatoes. This is like the yellow one, and then you have like the the red, uh, and there's a brownish one. So that is why the salad looks so colorful. This 10 day no carb thing. I'm gonna be making similar stuff to this. I think this is a good way to push start, you know, my diet. So if you're interested in seeing my progress comment below and if you want to join in go ahead but definitely let me know from your feedback if you want to see my progress and also if you want to see more of my wonderful awesome blend 
salad blend and salad dressing because I definitely will be making a different salad dressing every day. All right, guys. Bye bye. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video and leave your comments. And if this was the first time watching, look below. You're gonna see the word subscribe. Click on it, and you will be subscribed.